I don't know our podcast, episode three. I think we just did our seventh episode? I haven't been counting. Me neither. Yeah, there's not a number in the title, and that's on purpose. Because mm -hmm. most of the stuff I made in the past, I made a point of putting in the number in the title. Right. But I don't know why. That's just what everybody else did. Joe Rogan did it. Why okay. can't I? <laughs> I'm Garrett Perry. I'm an artist. Uh, Mr. Normal. normal. Mr. Normal. Yeah. Non-amenity or something. I'm not sure. People know who he is, though. Don't say his name in the comments. Don't dox him, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I don't want to put my real name uh, to my real face on the internet. That's yeah. all. That's all. That's all. So this is kind of like a little bubble on the internet, and he has other little bubbles on the internet. Yeah. And fuck you, you're not going to get to see it. They're awesome bubbles, but they're for the people who are already there, and the people that want to find it, and have found it. You could find it on your own, coincidentally, but I won't tell you that it's me. Yeah, also kind of anonymous yeah. there, even though it's not his face as well, so. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, like, how are you going to find it and know that it's him? Maybe you found it already. Maybe you're a huge fan, and you don't even know that this is him. Holy hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> I realized I had fans. I have fans in local fans, because I've been making so many videos about uh, our trail here. Right, yeah. And, uh... I'm an artist, too. It's kind of hard to hide that fact. And then one of the events was art in the park, so I just kind of had to expose myself as an artist to the community. Right. And um, that's kind of been awesome. It's, uh, I even have a commission. I'm working on a portrait of a dog. Hmm. So that's excellent. Uh, you saw a projector up in my room. There's... Secrets of the trade. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few drawings that I could probably show on Tumblr. On this podcast? Um, I don't, I don't know about that, but um, I do have, I, I have some things that I, I might be willing to show online. That, that's all. Oh yeah. It's just like doing something, and it's personal, and then you put it out there, and it's. It kind of vulnerable, like... It is. I don't, like... Do not perceive me. <laughs> yeah. But it's funny, actually, as a portrait artist, doing, like, speed portraits at the farmer's market, I make a lot of uh, questionable art of portraits, because I, like, got five minutes, ten minutes to make this portrait, and it is what it is. And uh, you got to turn around that painting and see their reaction and see them kind of fade and like, oh, lovely. But that's a part of it. It's right, a, yeah. That's a part of being an artist is just the willingness to be embarrassed with what you create. Yeah. And I think that's like on this show, on display, the I Don't Know Art, which you should watch, by the way. We should put the link in the description of the matching episode for the uh, podcast. Mm hmm Oh, I have a little statement uh, for new people who've been watching my other content. Um, there's a little bit of attention on my channel now. I've been playing a lot of Grand Theft Auto, and I make a lot of art content as well, and I'm proud of it. And go subscribe to I Don't Know Art. That's my statement. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because I've been getting a lot of attention making Grand Theft Auto content. Right. And uh, it's been awesome. I've actually broken 700 subscribers on my uh, main channel. And that's something I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, like, like it was 200, I was at 100 and something subscribers. I made it to 200 subscribers. And that was when I was, uh, can't remember what I was doing, but I made like, I went so hard on the 200 subscriber special. Yeah. And then I started streaming and gained a lot of subscribers. And I think that's why streaming again is, I'm just popping back in and there's a lot of attention there. There's people and there's new people looking, it's the game. Mm -hmm. And mixed with my personality, so it's kind of like, are people here for Grand Theft Auto, or are they here for me? Yeah, it's like, um, common points of interest, yeah? Yeah, totally. And that's how the internet works, it's keyword searches. If people are looking up Grand Theft Auto, they might find your stuff by, by mistake and check it out. Yeah, or exactly, especially when I'm live, that's when I seem to get the most, uh exposure is when i'm live and i've been doing lengthy streams yeah like i've noticed uh i like i i don't uh i don't engage much in with youtube except for um watching videos but whenever 
somebody is streaming like you, their uh, channel jumps to the top of these are your subscribed channels. Really? Yeah. I think YouTube kind of wants to get all the attention, all the video sources. So that's why they're doing the hashtag shorts now, which is just TikTok. It's just TikToks. Like, you could just take any content you made on TikTok and put it on YouTube shorts now, and it'd probably do fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, live streaming um, used to be a hard thing. You used to need to do it on a different platform. Twitch was awesome when it first came out. But now YouTube itself is a competitor. It's so well done. Hmm. In fact, I have a stream planned when I dress up as my cat character. I don't know if I'm going to do it or where I'm going to do it yet. I'm thinking might be streaming on TikTok hmm. <laughs> as my character. I think has the possibility to do well there. Because it is. It's like a big fat man with fucking cat makeup on his face. It's a very weird image to see right off the bat. Right? You should play Stray. If you can. Is that... It, it's a game where you play as a cat. Is that new? Yeah. Oh! I didn't click on the video, but I believe the video game Donkey made a video about that. And I'm a big fan of him. I might have watched it. But I am going to now... Not... Look at it. <laughs> I'm going to download the game. How much do you think it's going to cost me? Does it play uh, on PlayStation? I don't know any of those details. <laughs> okay. I've, I haven't looked into it. I know, I, know, I know it's a game. I know it's been recently released. And I know you play as a cat. Yeah, dude. That sounds fantastic. That sounds right up my bet. I should get Squanchy involved too, right, Squanchy? Okay, now you don't say yeah. anything. He's a chatty little bitch, but not when you want him to. <laughs> Squanchy. Hi. There we go. You just gotta know. He's just like, okay, you want me to say hi? <laughs> Isn't he awesome? I love him. He's my baby. Isn't that right, Squanchy? No, no. Okay. <laughs> just one <throwing> little mute. <laughs> Earlier when we were just getting started, he had the zoomies. I was kind of hoping he would do the zoomies thing today when we're on stream, but... Yeah. No, he's pretty chill now. He's all... He's happy. He's like a part of the group right now. You know, like, uh, before we started filming the video, um, we were talking like we should title the video, Don't Watch This Video, We Fucked It Up. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know how at the beginning of uh, Super Mario 64, Princess Peach sends a letter that says, please come to the castle, I baked you a cake. Yeah. Somebody puts, uh, I guess like somebody on Tumblr probably, a meme where it was Mario, don't come to the castle. I just I've made an absolutely dog shit cake. Just completely fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we should like put that word for word except don't watch this video. We've made a completely dog shit video. We've totally fucked it up. <laughs> Maybe we should. We should just have a picture of Peach in the thumbnail too with that with the Mario. <laughs> Just grab, just grab and credit him in the description of the video too. Of course, if we're going to use his art for the thumbnail, yeah, that's something that we could work on. Is that? Oh wait, I can't make custom thumbnails on the I don't know art channel. Mm -hmm. I have to wait a year or something to be able to make another account under my phone. Yeah, I'm, th I'm thinking of just like um, do the same as usual, but in the description, it's just that. It's just that. Uh, that. Description. Um, <laughs> don't watch this video. We've made an absolutely dog shit video. Just completely fucked it up. <laughs> no further context. Yeah. I don't really think this episode is too bad. Except for the, the poop jokes at the very end clip. <laughs> but I mean, I set it up for that. By yeah. choosing the expression, the constipated face. I, you, I, you I, admitted that you picked you, you came up with that on the spot. I did. I forgot to make a face. I like, why didn't I think about that in advance? Like, we got the thing. I made sure he knew a character because he's been picking so many characters. Mm -hmm. Every time we do a show now, we do a coin flip. And heads, 
heads, I pick the character. Tails, I pick the facial expression. And it's been Tails fucking five times in a row. We're not faking it, I swear to God. I want to pick a character. <laughs> Pretty soon, when you get the opportunity to pick a facial expression, there's going to be none left. I'm going to pick them. <laughs> That's a stretch. That's I, a stretch. I, can, I, think I, I think I can come up with one. Well, I mean, it's only been five episodes, but jeez, we think about 20 episodes in. Mm. I want to I I make one where the expression is just, like, completely bland and stoic, but in, there's a thought bubble, and it's just censored. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. It's just, like, completely That's... calm and stoic and, like, devastatingly horny inside. <laughs> That's gonna go really good with my character, my very first character. I think I, I think. Uh... <laughs> oh god! If it is who I think it is, then I, I'm not sure I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to do that episode to see what you thought it was after the fact. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, that's awesome. I, I'm thinking, maybe not for my first pick, but I want to start, like, I don't know, maybe after my first one to just only make cat characters, and like, today's Garfield, next day it's Normal from Garfield, mm. and then it's Heathcliff, <laughs> the other orange cat that competes with Garfield Sunday strips. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then just characters, and then it's the cat character from Skyrim. <laughs> Catman. <laughs> uh, painting a Khajiit? Yeah, a Khajiit character. Huh. And you get to pick what. Does a Khajiit have different brands? Is there like a, a tabby, orange tabby, a calico? Uh, or is that only. No, that's just my fan fiction. There's not a heck of a lot of variation in that regard, unless it's, there's like specific characters. Yeah, so it's just kind of a tabby. It's. Uh, like the like the the gray and black. I don't know what that is. Okay. Me neither, actually. <laughs> I'm very shitty with my. I'm like such a. I'm a cat artist. I'm people know me for loving cats, and then they see my art. They're like, "How many cats do you have?" And I tell them I have one. <laughs> and they're like, "What? Really?" Hmm. And I'm like, "And he's spoiled. He just loves spoiled with love. Isn't that right, Swanchy?" Hey. He's just half asleep. He's not going to talk with us right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like... Squanchy? How are you? I'm going to pick you up. He's going to move when I pick him up. And watch this. <laughs> yep, he has gone. Yeah, he's sl yeah, he's sleepy. Let's leave him alone. Yeah, let's just leave him alone. <laughs> We're just tormenting Squanchy just because he's this topic. Mm. Oh, now he's coming for some pets. Aw, I wish you could see him. I want to get him. Oh, he gets the gets, whether he wants it or not. He's like, get away from me. <laughs> but anyway, that's Squanchy, my orange tabby cat. He's also going to be a character in the future, probably episode five that I get to pick. I'm gonna draw him like a Khajiit. Awesome. Squanchy has wares if you have color. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll just be regular. I'll be an NPC. Huh. I used to be an adventurer like you until I took an arrow in the knee. <laughs> I love hearing that a thousand times. It's so good. <laughs> it doesn't get old. Well, it gets old, but then it gets good again, you know? You know what I'm saying? Take your word for it. <laughs> it's kind of like... <laughs> um, very specific situation. Very specific situation from a very specific show. Uh, How I Met Your Mother. They had a car and they're going on road trips. But a ca single, one song on a cassette got stuck in the cassette player. So they're just stuck listening to it over and over again. And it was the I Would Walk 500 Miles song. And... And it was just like playing over and over again. They're just singing along to it, do 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 do, and then it was just them depressed. And then, <laughs> then again, they're just getting back into it, just like yeah, it comes back around. Okay, <laughs> it's exactly the same situation. I think I, I, I think I, I think I've seen that in a meme before. Just a, like a picture of uh, the United Kingdom, mm -hmm. and then like outwards from Scotland, 
marking 500 miles. Yeah. And then uh, marking again 500 more. <laughs> this is how far the, the proclaimers are willing to walk. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think it reached. I don't think it went as far as uh, the um, Europe mainland Europe. Those Europe is small, man. Those countries are small. Um, Canada and the no, United we're just very big. I think that's the thing, in comparison to where we're from. They like our penises too. They're huge and they're dongers. Anyway, let's change the subject. <laughs> yeah, our, our big our, that, that's like, too um, big of a subject. Yeah, yeah let's move on. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> it's like um, uh, somebody once said that um, yeah, it's about I'm, <laughs> I'm just waiting till you're done. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they're saying yeah um it's like uh uh canadian like uh Amer canadians think that a hundred years is a long time europeans think that a hundred kilometers is a long way oh <laughs> yeah i guess a hundred kilometers might take it through a country or two, maybe, depending on which country you're Depending on. which one, yeah. But a hundred years? That's like your grandchildren, potentially. <laughs> that's a long time, isn't it? Your grandchildren when they grow mm -hmm. up. Great-grandchildren, probably. Great-grandchildren? Wow, that's three generations, then? Four generations? How many generations? <laughs> Hi, Squanchy. Yeah? You good? He's acting like he's hungry, though, but I just fed him, and there's a big bowl of food, and I didn't even close the door. I think he wants to go outside, actually, and I don't like to let him go outside, so when I do... He's I, an indoor cat. He's an indoor cat, yeah, because he's food. He's been neutered, and he was neutered in the city, so he's only lived indoors. So I can't really let him outside. He's gonna get eaten. He's not out there fucking hunting or anything. Yeah. He's not a part of the food chain anymore. He, the He's not a predator on the food chain anymore. He is prey. Mm. And that is why I am not letting him outside. At least not alone. I'll take him outside. Um, I'll take him outside. With yeah, a we, harness and leash. We live in a in a somewhat remote area, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, having an outdoor cat is a good way to ha to not have a cat anymore. Yeah. No. We. Uh, yeah. Exactly. My parents always like to have outdoor cats because the cats always want to go outside. Like Squanchy, he wants to go outside. <laughs> I just can't let him. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, my brother has a cat. It's a black tuxedo cat. It seems to have no interest in going outside. I'm like Squanchy, learn from the other cat, okay? He doesn't even know what to think anymore. He's kind of winking at me there. Hmm. Maybe he just tried to blink and it didn't and it didn't work on the other one. <laughs> oh no! I think Squanchy's having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> He's got that disease, or is like half his face is stroking out, man. No, he's just like wide eyes. And it's it's silly time. We need a, a second camera, just so we can have... It's just squanchy cam. Just a squanchy <laughs> cam at all times. And yeah, kind of have like, it on the side or like in the middle of the shot here. And it's just a picture of squanchy. It'll just someone filming it. That would be one of us. It'd have to be, yeah. <laughs> no. So, like, we'd just be having a conversation while pointing the camera at squanchy. Yeah, okay, that's not a really good idea. That's too distracting. That'd be the squanchy show. I'm yeah. thinking about making, uh, um, making, I'm thinking about bringing back a vlog series that I did in the past. I called it Squanchy and Me. Mm. And it was just 10 minute long videos of me walking out and about. <clears throat> and I was filming Squanchy and I was kind of vlogging a little bit. 
and uh, I think I'm ready. I'm more ready now than I was when I was originally making it. I was very unhealthy then, and my, like, it's kind of hard to say that I'm healthy right now, but I'm like living a healthy lifestyle. I'm still like 200 pounds overweight potentially, but <laughs> that weight didn't fucking come on overnight. It took me 10 years to get it. I'm sure in 10 years I'll be looking a little different. Mm. I'm not, if I keep it up, if I don't just revert back to drinking regular Coca-Colas and having diabetes, I'd be dead mm. before the decade, before the next 10 years, you know? Yeah. That is why <laughs> I'm changing my lifestyle so much. And that's why the mukbangs on this channel are going to continue. Right. Because it's a great motivator for me. And they're actually kind of taking off a little bit. Like, I'm getting, like, uh, 20, 30 uh, views on average. Sometimes less, sometimes more. And, like, that, like my art content before was getting, like, zero views. Some of them probably still have zero views from fucking when I posted it. Mm. Like, that's how little interest. <laughs> you could actually find videos with zero views on this channel. <laughs> like, even the podcast. I was surprised. Our podcast has seven views, eight views. Mm. And um, I'm also aware that, like, uh, in the future, like, there's uh, people might want to watch these in the future. So if you're, if you're in the future, what day is it today? It's 2022. Um, what year is it when you're watching this? <laughs> <laughs> it's... I don't know what day it is. Ju Tuesday, August 16th. Okay, I was about to say July. <laughs> that little I freaking care. <laughs> I don't really know what month it is. It's the I, seventh. I, I feel like at, at some point I should just conspicuously hide this. <laughs> <laughs> I think one day you should just grab it and take a tote. Not anytime <laughs> soon, but like when yeah. you're a little bit more famous or something. <laughs> I think that would be funny. Speaking of this, before you fucking no, hide, hide it on you before you hide it on me, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> We've been over this. This is a power stick. This is even greater than holding my dick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's so funny. Man, I'm hilarious. Yeah. Once but... again, we don't edit these. <laughs> One time, we reshot an intro. That was the closest to editing we've ever gotten. <laughs> I should have kept it, but I deleted it. How long has it been? 23 minutes, we have 7 <laughs> minutes left. Okay, well... Um... <laughs> Were you going to listen to you cough for 7 minutes? Probably. That was a pretty big toke. <laughs> yeah. Luckily I'm kind of out of weed, so it doesn't even matter that I hit the toke on you. Yeah, there's no more. Huh? I'm fucking my pop's gone. Maybe we should just end it. But at the end of the show, I'm still not going to have any pop. Hmm. So, no. <laughs> I just happened to have an old painting. This is the Rod Sterling one. Yeah. Did we do a podcast after this one? I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't remember which ones we did a podcast for either. Hmm. I'm lucky. I'm glad we, like, post these the same day we create them. Mm. Except for last week's. Um, yeah, we had to cancel an episode because my camera SD card. Let's not talk too much about it because it still pisses me off. I feel like sour about it. <laughs> really pissed off that we missed an episode. Did you like lose data? I did. I um, only one shoot though. I made a mukbang right, and yeah. uh, I lost it. And it was a fucking awesome mukbang. And then I'm like, no, I lost it. So I put the SD card back in my camera. And I recorded, like, another, like, post-mukbang video. 
And it was fucking hilarious, because what I did was I grabbed the scraps from the mukbang. I had like an apple core and a green pepper core and banana peels. And I, I ate it. I ate the apple core on camera and uh, the green pepper core. And I took a bite of the banana peel and it was awful, so I spit it out. And it was fucking hilarious, right? <laughs> and it was just like, I was performing top notch and stuff. It's like the lost, forgotten mukbang. And yeah, both those clips are gone forever. Right. And uh, I recreated the mukbang part for a mukbang on my channel. What I did, what I did was I did my mukbang like normal, and then I at the end of the mukbang I did the other clip where I ate the, but I pretended like I was starting anew right from the very beginning at the end, <laughs> and then I put that end clip at the beginning of the clip. So the right. video started off with me eating table scraps, and then it just started as a regular <laughs> mukbang. <laughs> what I Okay. And uh, I guess it kind of worked out. Um, I had the capabilities to continue creating those mukbangs, but I was also running low on vegetables, and um, and just losing that one mukbang pissed me off. Right, <laughs> so yeah. there was like a period of four or five days where I only posted like one mukbang on each channel, so I wonder if I gained weight. I don't weigh myself every day, so I might have, because <laughs> I didn't eat my vegetables. Uh, eat your vegetables if you want to be big and strong like me. Okay, that's not true. Oh, I want to tell you a pitch for my, uh, for a video I'm going to make. Mr. Beast is going to sponsor it. Okay. Um, <laughs> because I don't know who, how I'm going to get the money. <laughs> um, um, like, a couple months down the road when I'm, like, actually, like, maybe... Uh, closer to 300 pounds instead of 400 pounds. Right now I'm like 350, so I'm right in the middle. So, anyway, just a couple months from now, hopefully I'll be. And anyway, I'm gonna do a one month challenge where I eat nothing but raw vegetables, and I'm going to attempt to gain weight. I don't think that's healthy. It's not. I'm going to be eating a lot of avocados, hmm. and that's where the money comes in. <laughs> Those are expensive. Like, uh, you're going to feel like shit. I'm not going to do anything either. Because any exercise I get, I might lose weight. I've got to do this challenge. <laughs> hmm. i got to be like a normal, everyday American, just sitting on my ass all day. Maybe I'll do a lot of streaming and eating. Maybe I'll do... Maybe I'll do like 10 hour mukbang streams where I just have bags of avocados and I'm just, I'm just gonna be eating this and I'm gonna be holding in my shit for as long as... <laughs> <laughs> the constipated Squ episode uh, meme comes to life, guys! Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> no? Squanchy just did a reverse boop on my, on my foot. Aww. <laughs> Squanchy. He's so cute. I love my cat. He, he doesn't love me, though. Weird dynamic, I know, but I'm his master. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not the truth. I was just lying. Right, yeah. <laughs> 30 minutes, eh? <laughs> Seems to be a long time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um... Yeah, I guess podcasts have, like, docs and stuff, and they have topics ready, and they transition, and, like, some topics only last, like, ten minutes. It's just, like, the flow of the conversation. We didn't have anything planned. Hmm. And, uh, we never do. I never do. It's just my style. Hmm. Is it because I don't feel like working? I just like the creating. That's <laughs> right. It's a hobby, for fuck's sakes. I ain't making no money. Hmm. One time... Swazilla, shout out. Um, anyway, one time a uh, fan gave me money, a tip. Happens for streamers sometimes, mm. especially when they get famous. But I'm not very famous. But uh, what, And you can't give a tip through YouTube until, unless you have a thousand subscribers. So I'm like 300 subscribers away from even being able to take tips. But if you live in Canada, you could like direct deposit money with an email. And my email is in my description, so... Mm. He gave me 25 bucks. He heard I was out of weed. And in that stream, 
I was living with my roommate at the time, yeah, like, 25 yeah. bucks in my account. I opened up the door, like, hey, Connor, can you go to the weed store? Because <laughs> you could just go to the weed store nowadays and pick up an eighth of weed. Mm-hmm. And I gave him my debit card. Now I understand why somebody tipped you if, they, if, they, if, if it was to get you more weed.